Hey everyone, now the PlayStation 4 has been around for quite some time, and as with every gaming system, with time its performance might be reduced for various reasons. Luckily, there are a few easy steps we could take to make the console run smooth and perform as intended. So let's not waste any more time and get started. First up, let's talk about storage. This is probably the first and the easiest thing you can do with your PS4. A cluttered hard drive can slow down your system. You can head over to settings, then storage and check out what's heating up your disk space. This might not seem like a big deal, but having a completely full storage would make installing updates impossible and it can even lead to data corruption. As a good rule of thumb, having between 10 and 15% of your hard drive empty should leave you with plenty of space for virtual memory and temporary files. You can uninstall games and apps you no longer use. Remember, saved game data won't be deleted, so you can always reinstall and continue playing from where you left off. Now, one of the biggest problems your PS4 can face is overheating. With time, dust and other debris can accumulate and block the console's air vents, which of course results in overheating. If the fan of your PS4 sounds like it's running into overdrive, it's probably time to clean your PS4. It's a good idea to check and clean the air vent at least one every five or six months, and you should also remove the old thermal paste and apply new one once every five years. The process is not that complicated, I have a dedicated video on that topic. Next guys, another pretty efficient method is rebuilding the PS4's database. That's like defragmenting a PC hard drive and it can help with loading times. Rebuilding the database on your PlayStation 4 is useful for cleaning up the data as it reorganizes everything on the hard drive. This is a great thing to try if you're experiencing issues such as game freezes or FPS drops. Follow these steps to rebuild your console's database. First, we have to enter safe mode. Turn off your console, then press and hold the power button until you hear two beeps. Connect your controller with the USB cable. Press the PS button on the controller. And from the menu, we have to select Rebuild Database and then select Restart. This scans the drive and creates a new database of all your content. This operation may take a while depending on the type and number of data items. In my case, the whole operation lasted about 2 or 3 minutes. For the PS4 Pro users, there's a boost mode. It can enhance performance for games that aren't optimized for the PS4 Pro. Another thing that can boost your PS4 performance is to always keep your system and games up to date for the best possible performance. Making sure the PS4 is up to date with the latest software can improve its performance. Regular updates can fix bugs and enhance your system efficiency and stability. Now, one of the most efficient ways to enhance the speed and efficiency of your PlayStation 4 is by upgrading its internal storage to an SSD. With this upgrade, you get faster game installations, updates, reduced loading times, quicker system operations and more silent operation as well. Overall, if you're up to it, upgrading your PS4 with an SSD is a worthwhile investment that can breathe new life into your gaming console. Lastly, let's not forget about your internet connection. A wired connection is more stable than Wi-Fi and make sure to close any background apps that could hog your bandwidth. Even though my Wi-Fi router is literally next to my PS4, I still experience lag spikes every so often. You can test your internet speed by going to Settings, Network, Run Network Test. For online multiplayer games, you need at least 5 megabits download speed and 1 megabit upload speed. And there we have it guys, with these tips, your PS4 will be running smoother and faster in no time. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more similar content. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.